The Norwich Farm Foundation, which is home to the Norwich Farm Creamery, is for sale. Adam Sullivan spoke with the owners of the business who now face an uncertain future. In 2022, the Norwich Farm Foundation closed on the property with big plans to keep the creamery in the community for generations to come. But two years later, it appears that goal is coming up a little bit short. You know, it's hard for us to see a place this valuable and this capable go on the open market. Chris Gray and his wife, Laura Brown, have operated the Norwich Farm Creamery since 2015. After a partnership with the Vermont Technical College fell apart, a group of local residents formed the Norwich Farm Foundation and eventually bought the property for just over a million dollars. Revenue from the business was supposed to pay the bills, but simply put, it's not enough. It's just money, unfortunately. He says debt on the property and annual taxes, along with stagnant fundraising efforts, made scaling up impossible. I mean, it's 2024, I can't believe we haven't understood this yet, uh, in Vermont, um, that if you put ag into real estate market, neither the farm or the farmers can, can make it. The experts say operating a profitable small creamery can be difficult. You have to grow your sales to get more efficient to earn more money, but in order to do that, you need to spend more time away from the creamery processing product that you need to grow your sales. Laura Ginsberg is with Vermont's Agriculture, Food and Markets Agency. There's only so many hours in the day. There's only so much money people are willing to pay uh, for certain dairy products. The creamery's milk, cheese, and pudding products sell out every week. Owners are exploring other potential partnerships to keep the business afloat. People love our stuff, and we just want to make more of it for them and feed more people and keep this place a working farm. We reached out to the foundation for a comment on the potential sale. However, we have not heard back. In the meantime, the value-added dairy products keep being churned out here every week. Reporting from Norwich, Adam Sullivan, Channel 3 News. Adam, thank you. The property is currently listed for a little less than $1.3 million.